All right. So uh, first off, thanks to Amanda and Katie for requesting some neck and back opener or stretching tonight to kind of accommodate the desk back. So that going inward. So for tonight, we're going to start with an opening pose, a heart opener that's a restorative pose. So it's something we're going to hold for a little while. So if you've got your towel or using whatever you have, um, fold your towel in half if you have one, and then we're just going to roll it. So the idea is that it's as long as your spine and your head. And if it's not quite long enough, then you can grab a, a blanket or something else. All right. So just going to check. Got one more comment. Make sure everything's sounding OK. Uh, hi, Meg. Hi, Will. Welcome. OK, so bring your towel right up to your seat and then just lie on back. So the towel's all the way down your spine. Open your arms nice and wide. Tuck your chin. Your feet can be pressing into each other, knees wide for a little more of a hip opener. I think that was another request for tonight. And if that doesn't feel good for you, you can just bend your knees, plant your feet, or keep your legs long. So wherever you're choosing to start, right away, relaxing every cell in your body. Completely letting go. allowing your heart space to just gently begin to open and soften. Letting your chest and your shoulders just relax. Your neck and your throat just relaxing. Relax your jaw, your head, even your eyeballs, relaxing. Bring your awareness to your breath and just start to notice what, what quality your breath is taking today. Just notice if it's fast or slow, deep or shallow, smooth or jagged. No need to judge what you find, only notice. Maybe begin to invite a deeper breath Feeling your belly rise and fall as the breath reaches further down into the depths of your lungs. And with each exhale, beginning to let go a little bit more fully. Just relax. Just 
just noticing where the mind is going and bring it back. Just a couple breaths left. Maybe on this last breath, opening your mouth, letting out a big sigh. And when you're ready, you can flutter your eyes open. Use your hands to bring your legs back together. Remove your towel and hug your knees into your chest. Make a nice little ball. You can rock side to side. Give your back a little massage. And then stretch your legs out long. Stretch your arms overhead. Big good morning stretch. Bend your knees. Place your feet nice and wide on your mat. Arms come out like a T. Drop your knees over to the right side. Press your hips forward for a nice big stretch in the top of your leg. Breathe here. And come on over to the other side. Back to center. Bring your feet together to touch. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Stay there or hug your leg in for a deeper stretch. So making this active, even though we're in stillness here, flexing your right foot, hugging your leg in a little closer. Neck stays nice and long and breathe. Maybe hugging your leg in just a little closer for these last few breaths. And unwind, other side. Left leg crosses over right, any version that feels good for you here but making it nice and active, turning on your biceps to bring your leg in a little bit closer. Keep your left foot flexed and knee pressing out. And if your four is a little bit lopsided, no worries, just breathing into the stretch. Just go to your edge, you don't have to go beyond it. your leg in a little closer for the last few breaths if that feels good. And unwind. Take your time coming to all fours or you can rock and roll all the way through. I'll have to pause in the middle to put my headset on here. All right. Come to all fours for some cat-cow. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. And exhale, round in, relax your head, relax your neck. Keep moving at your own pace, back and forth. Linking your breath with your movement. This one's great after a day at the computer or a day of playing guitar. Just take a moment to realign, stretch out the spine. One more full round to gear time. And then we'll meet in neutral. Spine nice and long. Press evenly into both hands Rotate your elbow creases forward. So elbow creases usually facing in, rotate them a little bit forward. Tuck your toes, press down into your feet, lift up through your hips, high to the sky. Keep your knees bent at first. Relax your head. Press your upper body back towards your legs. And then when you're ready, legs can move towards straight. Heels can reach towards the ground. Downward dog.
on your next inhale, shift forward for plank pose. Squeeze your muscles into your bones. We'll only be here for a couple breaths, so make it a good strong plank. Drop your knees, sit your hips back for a version of child's pose. Walk your hands forward, relax your head. Deep breath here. On your next inhale, shift forward, upward facing dog. You can keep your feet just where they are, keep your knees just where they are. And you'll see why in a moment we're gonna flow from one to the other. When you're ready on your exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, upward dog. We'll do two more rounds, go at your own pace. Downward dog. Upward facing dog. Last round in silence. And this time, stay in child's pose. You can untuck your toes, spread your knees nice and wide, and sit back. Drop your forehead all the way down to the mat. Breathe into your backside body here. Coming back to that breath from the beginning of class, inhaling peacefulness, inhaling presence. And on your exhale, maybe imagine anything you want to let go of just pouring out from your forehead down into the earth. One more deep breath, just like that. Walk your hands over to the left side. Nice big side body stretch. Don't worry about what it looks like. Just find a way to breathe all the way down your right side. Stretching your shoulder, your arm, your side body. And over to the left side. Come on, back to center, and press to all fours, and downward dog. Take your time walking your feet to the front of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, and exhale, fold. Slowly roll to standing, arms reach overhead. Full inhale and exhale here. <sighs> inhale, mini back bend. Exhale, as you forward fold, arms come out wide, back is flat and long, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, as you fold forward, bend your knees, round into a tiny ball, relax your head and neck, and breathe. So we're doing a little different version of our sun salutes today to accommodate that request for a little bit of extra back support today. So the arms open wide is a little bit of weight, so that requires some back strength. So we're both building strength and stretching. All right, this time we're gonna flow one move to the next. So press down into your heels, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll to standing. Arms reach for a full inhale and exhale. Core stays nice and tight here. Inhale, mini back bend, gaze to the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward, strong flat back. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold round into that tiny ball. Relax your head. Take a full inhale and exhale here.
on your next inhale, drop your heels, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Roll to standing. Arms reach at the top for a full inhale and exhale. Strong core, mini back bend. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, rolling into your tiny ball. Deep inhale and exhale here. Drop your heels, halfway lift. Slowly roll to standing. Arms reach full. Inhale and exhale. Back bend. All right, take this last round at your own pace. Pause with your hands at heart center. Close your eyes. Just breathe here for a moment, allowing your breath to reach all four corners. Your front side, back side, left and right. Flutter your eyes open, shake that out. Hope you guys are all doing well so far. Let me know in the comments if you uh, want the sound to be different at all. Otherwise, I'll assume we're good to go. All right, just one more uh, neck stretch here before we do some warrior poses. So clasp your hands behind your back. You can either have fists down or you can press your palms to the floor. Feet hips width apart, drop your chin down to your chest, Breathe into the back of your neck. Slowly roll right ear to right shoulder and keep breathing. We're gonna hold this for about a minute. So if it's too intense, you can just ease up or unclasp the hands. Soften, release a little bit deeper. Soften through your jaw. One more deep inhale. And full exhale as you roll back to center and over to the right side. chest once more, unclasp your hands, and rise to neutral. Roll your shoulders forward and up, and down and back. One more time. All right, Matt's got this great music for us, going with a lot of movement, so let's, let's go with it. Come to the front of your mat, hands come to heart center, take a deep breath in, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold, any version. Inhale, lift halfway. 
exhale fold, plant your hand, step back with your right foot for warrior one. So catch your, your posture first, back foot is 45 degrees, back leg nice and strong. Press down into your front heel and rise to standing arms reach. Keep your core nice and tight here, squeezing through your back leg, your glute. Doesn't have to be a huge warrior one, just go to a point that feels good for you today. Straighten your front leg, inhale as you reach your fingers to the sky. Exhale, goddess, bend into your leg. <sighs> inhale, reach. And on your exhale, like you're fogging up a mirror, let it go. <sighs> Do more at your own pace. Hands come to your hips. Straighten your front leg. With a flat back, come forward any amount that feels good, even if it's just a little bit. And then if you feel like you have the flexibility today, or if you have a prop that you can use, like blocks or a chair, then you can come forward even more. Spine stays nice and long. And then when you're ready, you can round over, relax your head. So actively trying to straighten the front leg, but also being gentle and kind with yourself if that straightening of the front leg seems really far away today. So just working at your edge, maybe going to a place where you start to feel that little shake. Once you get to a place of discomfort, not going further, but also just seeing if you can stay there and breathe. One more deep inhale and exhale. <sighs> Bend into your front knee here. All right, a little challenge. Hang with me. Press into your heel. Reach your arms forward and up. And sweeping your arms forward. Graze them across your mat. Reach your fingertips behind you. Keep going just like that, like a bird flying through the sky. Last one, arms reach. Exhale, hands come down. Pivot on your back heel, step back for plank. Rock forward and back just a little bit here. Challenge the balance, challenge your core. And then either come straight down or lower to your knees and reverse push up all the way to the mat. Squeeze your legs together, press your hips and your whole lower body down into the mat. Inhale for cobra. Couple of breaths here. Lower down, take your time finding your way back to downward dog. Walk or jump your feet to the front of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. And slowly roll to standing. Arms reach. Exhale, forward fold, any version. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step your left foot back this time. Warrior one, other side. Take your time finding your posture. Press into your heel. Reach all the way up to standing. Belly button squeezes into the spine for a nice strong core. Breathe here. Straighten your front leg. Inhale, reach your fingertips to the sky. Exhale, goddess. Go at your own pace. Nice big detox breath. Let it all go. Wow. 
All right, great job. Hang in there. One more. <sighs> Hands come to your hips. Straighten your front leg. Come forward any amount that feels good for you. Maybe today or maybe not today. Reaching down, rounding over. Nice deep stretch here, wherever you are. Bend into your front knee, press down into your heel, reach your arms forward and up, and sweep them down and back. Move at your own pace here, moving nice and slowly. Hang in there if you're feeling that shake, that tremble in your leg, you can do it, we're almost there. Last one, arms reach, make it nice and strong. And exhale, hands come back down to the mat. Pivot on your back foot and step back for plank. Hold here or come down to your knees, or if you'd like, turn on the outside edge of your right foot, left arm reaches. We're just gonna be here for a breath or two. And other side, back to plank. And over to the left side, arm reaches high. Come back to center, lower all the way down. Inhale, Cobra. So especially if you're working on your back strength here, really, really pressing down into the lower body to rise a little taller. And lower all the way down. Knees come together, sit all the way back for a well-deserved child's pose. Arms reach back by your feet, relax your head. If your breathing is heavy and full, use that to your advantage. Fill up your whole back with breath. When you're ready, shift forward, all fours. Tuck your toes, downward dog. Bring your big toes together to touch. Inhale, lift your right leg high to the sky. Step it through to lunge, pivot your back foot, warrior two. Bring your right hand inside, right next to your foot. Left arm reaches to the sky. So this might be really twisty, especially if you haven't been practicing yoga much. If you need to, you can just come up to your fingertips or come up to your forearm, forearm on the thigh. All right, one more breath, reach. And everyone use the strength of your core to come all the way through, warrior two. Gaze over your right fingertips, shoulders are down and squeezing back together a little bit. Right, holding here for just a couple more breaths. Feel your own strength building. Straight in your front leg. Relax your arms. Toes come forward. <sighs> Deep breath. Other side. Pivot left foot towards the back of the mat. Right foot comes to parallel. Warrior two. Once again, relax your shoulders, pressing your pinkies back a little bit to open through your chest. And now we're just gonna do a little switching back and forth between the sides. So on your inhale, straighten your leg, toes come forward, arms reach to the sky, maybe palms come together. And on your exhale, warrior two to the other side. 
So move at your own pace. Maybe it's with your breath and maybe it's with the music, whatever you like. Focusing on nice, smooth, graceful transitions. This pose is a, this version of this pose is a good uh, metaphor for that concept about being about the journey. The journey being as important as the destination. So this is all about the journey here. Maybe your arms are getting a little tired, that's okay. Great work if they are. All right, last time. One full round to the left and then the right. All right, come back to center. Toes reach towards the corners of your mat, bend your knees, hands come down. This should go really good. Twist to the left. <sighs> nice, big, loud breaths here if you'd like. All right, you made it through probably the hardest little series of our class tonight, so great job. Come back to center, over to the other side. Come back to center, straighten your legs, and you can heel toe your feet together or take a little jump. Okay, shake it out, you can sway side to side, move however feels good here. All right, we're gonna use the rhythm of this music to link up some movement. If you, uh-oh, were you gonna stop doing this rhythm? <laughs> Just a little bit longer. Okay, so if the rhythm doesn't quite work for you with timing, you can go at your own pace, but otherwise, let's give this a try. Come to the front of your mat, hands at heart center. You're gonna lift left knee. Twist open. Hold. Come back. And hold. Lunge. And hold. Dip your back knee. Left hand comes to the outside of the leg, right hand reaches back, hold. Return. Step back for lunge. And hold. Dip your back knee. Try it just one more time. This time really going with the rhythm. So bring the weight to your right foot. Left foot lifts. Six and twist. Five, six, seven, eight, and hold. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, return. Five, six, seven, eight, and lunge. your back knee and rise. Step forward. Deep breath. Hold. 
right knee rises. And twist. Hold. Five, six, seven, Return. Dip your back knee. Return. Step forward. All right, close your eyes and breathe. your eyes open, shake it out. All right, we started with a figure four stretch tonight because we are gonna try a balancing pose that requires a little bit of flexibility in that same spot. So bring the weight over to your left foot, bend your knees a little bit, and then here's where you might wanna use a wall or a chair. Cross your right ankle over your thigh. So you might just stay here, bring your hands to your heart and breathe. Or with every count of eight, going a little bit lower. And lower. One more inch. A little lower. Chest stays nice and broad here. Relax your shoulders. Maybe going a little further. Only if you're really feeling it tonight, you can bring your forearms down to your shin here, your calf, and breathe. Great job, everyone. Press down into your heel to rise back up. Ah, relax. Shake it out. All right, this one's a really big challenge, so if you fall out or you wobble, that's okay. Great job just for trying. Weight comes over to the right foot. Bend your knees just a little bit. Cross your left ankle over your right. Maybe just stay here. Maybe bring those hands to heart center. Or sit lower. And lower. coming all the way down to forearms. All right, one more count of eight. Press down into your heel, slowly rise. <sighs> all right, great job everyone. You hung in there. We're gonna come all the way down. Any comfortable seated position. Actually, probably best we all do cross-legged if that, that works for you. And if you need, you have your towel, you can always sit up on your prop. All right, roll your shoulders forward and up. And exhale back and down. Two more times just like that. come to your sides. We're going to keep working on that neck because one stretch isn't enough if you've been at the desk all day every day, right? So drop your chin down to your chest and roll right ear to right shoulder. Keep your hands where they are or if you'd like to play with the stretch, you can turn your palms forward and back. And you can turn your gaze down and up. So ears still reaching towards the shoulder, but nose moving towards the floor into the sky. So many possibilities here with where your hands are, where your head is in space. And come on over to the other side.
chin comes back to center, maybe even using your palm on your forehead to bring your head back to neutral. Open your arms nice and wide. Left arm comes under, give yourself a hug. So walk your fingertips back as far as they go. Maybe give a little press into your upper back or your shoulders, a little massage here. And then right hand comes up to the sky, left hand comes up to the sky. So those are a really great place to stay. Or if you have the mobility today, you can clasp your hands together. So from here, on your inhale, lift your elbows just a little bit. And exhale, release your shoulders. Press your hands a little further from your face. Take a couple breaths here. If you're, this one is really uncomfortable for you, then just know that that's very normal. So no sharp pains, but a little discomfort is okay. Take your time as slowly as you can, as mindfully as you can, unwinding. Might feel a little crunch crunch. Reach your hands back behind you, chest comes forward, gaze up at the sky. And other side, this time, left hand comes underneath. Give yourself a big hug. Is that right? No, I think that's wrong. Well, hopefully you remember which side you did. Okay, bottom hand comes up. Yeah, that was right. Okay, left hand underneath. Sorry about that, guys. Bottom hand comes up. Top hand comes up. Any version you'd like of this twist. Arm twist. Inhale, elbows come up. Exhale, shoulders come down. Hands reach away from the face and breathe. All right, one more breath. And slowly, gently unwind. Take a moment to just close your eyes and breathe in the center here. If you're left with any unpleasant sensations, breathe through them, let them dissolve. to grow nice and tall. Bring your chin back, maybe just a millimeter in space. Relax through your belly, your spine. Check back in with your body, with your breath. Notice if there's anything you're still holding on to today. See if you can, on your exhales, just let it go. thoughts to just float away, knowing, trusting that they'll come back to you later if they're important. Right now, allowing yourself to simply be the observer of the thoughts, not attaching or identifying with them. sweet time coming all the way down to the mat onto your back. Bring your feet 
together to touch. Arms out wide. Take a gentle twist by just dropping your knees over to the left side. Or take a deep twist by crossing right leg over left. You can pick up your hips, turn to the left and drop your knees. And just breathe here. So this morning I got to do something pretty cool, which is take a class with my teacher. Her name is Jinal Mehta, and she's from India and teaches at an ashram in Thailand, which is where I got to study with her. And she has never done anything online before, so it was really cool since she can't have students at her ashram right now. She did a lecture, uh, which I had to get up at 6.30 to attend, uh, but it was very much worth it. And she speaks very simply because that's... Well, she speaks English as a second language, but also that's just kind of the style of the old teachings, very simple. And she kept coming back to the idea, this age-old idea, that we can never get rid of pain in our lives. We can never get rid of uncomfortable situations. We can't control what happens, the external factors, but we can control our suffering. So we're at home because of coronavirus and she kept asking how much do you want to suffer and it's a kind of a challenging notion for us I think because uh, sometimes the idea that we can control our suffering seems like a, a lie not very possible but we can with practice get a little bit better at it and so I just want to commend you and thank you all for taking this hour to try to practice letting go of that suffering to be more present so we can show up in the world and the community our best selves take your time coming back to center you can hug your knees into your chest maybe rock a little bit side to side and then take your own twist to the right in your own time. are a great time to let go. They are very detoxifying of the physical body, but also they can be detoxifying for toxic emotions, stagnation, stress. Just let it go. Come back to center, moving gently, mindfully. the soles of your feet together and bring them in so that you can grab them with your hands and if they're really far away from your hands then you could just do one at a time and then from here bring your thumbs to your heels and just press gently all the way up your foot until you get to the base of your toes and when you get to the top just work your way back down maybe a half an inch over And then find wherever it feels best and just hold and press for a few breaths. Especially this, this time right now, we when we have anxiety, our energy ends up up top, up at our head. And so just bringing some awareness down to our feet can be very soothing. You can always rub a little bit of oil or cream on your feet or if you have uh, CBD oil you can do that too and then when you're ready drop your feet down take any movements that feel good 
any final movements before coming into your final resting pose. You have your towel, so if you want an extra layer on top of you, like a blanket, you can use that, or under your head. Or if you want to come back to that same position from the beginning of class, you can do that now. Or another option would be putting it under your knees, so when you straighten your leg, there's a little bit less uh, pressure on your low back. So you choose your final position. I'll sit up so that I can speak smoothly. Close your eyes. Right away, relax your entire body. Your whole body, from bones to skin, just relaxing. Relax your head. Let it just be heavy, like a bowling ball. Your scalp softening. Forehead smoothing over. Eyes releasing any tension behind the eyes. Relax your nose and your cheeks, your jaw, mouth and your gums, your tongue relaxing. As you relax your tongue, allow that relaxation to continue all the way down your throat. And your whole neck relaxing. Right shoulder blade and arm sliding down your back, then softening. Left shoulder blade and arm relaxing. Relax your whole back and take a moment to just scan up and down your spine, noticing any places of pain or tension, and just sending some breath and some love, maybe even a little bit of acceptance. through your chest and your belly. Your hips. Your whole right leg and your whole left leg. Relax your feet. this journey towards deeper and deeper relaxation and with it allowing your mind to just be still Invite a gentle, almost imperceptible smile to enter your face. And then see if you can allow your entire body to smile. Imagining a smiling heart. Smiling lungs. Every organ every cell in your body, a gentle smile. Feeling that natural sunniness, that natural joy that's in you, 
even in the darkest times, even in the hardest times, it's there for you to come back to. We can't always be happy, but we can always find this place of contentment, this place of peacefulness. your time beginning to wake up inviting a deeper breath <sighs> wiggle your fingers and toes turn your head left and right and then take your sweet time rolling over and all the way up to seated making any gentle movements that feel good Whenever you get to seated, hands come to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's always an honor to practice with you all. I don't know how big of a group we have, but I'll, uh, I'll check so that you know. It's fun to know. Oh, we've grown. We are a group of nine, plus Matt makes ten, plus I think Selena and Max, Katie and Brad are two, we've got uh, Brittany and Patrick are two, so we've got actually more like maybe 15, maybe a couple other people are practicing with a friend. So that's pretty awesome. We're a group of 10, 15, all doing yoga together tonight. So thank you so much for joining. Uh, if you get a chance to let me know how you like the class, that would be great. And let me know what your requests are for next week. And if you would be able to invite a friend for next week, that would be wonderful too. Um, anyone who needs to can join the class for free. So uh, welcome everybody, your friends and your family. <sighs> All right, let's take two more deep breaths together as a group. Deep exhale. 